to our YouTube channel. So today we're here with a very amazing and exciting video. We're going to do a full review of the Tesla Model 3. So this is the key card for the Tesla. So on the front, it just has Tesla written on it. On the back, there is instructions on how to unlock the car. So it's very simple. All you have to do is just tap it on the, um, the right on right beside the window. So let's go see how we can do that. best things in this car would definitely be the roof because it is a fully glass roof so there's no covering so when you're driving you'll get a lot of light coming in and also the view is very beautiful as well Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the interior features of the Tesla Model 3. So the main feature in here would definitely be the touchscreen. So this is the 15-inch Tesla Model 3 touchscreen. So the car basically works with this touchscreen. I know it sounds very... It sounds funny, but it's true. <laughs> so we have the trunk and the front. So that's kind of how we can open those. And then we can also unlock it. It also tells you the charge of the car. Um, and then we have the navigation. So it'll just... It's like a map, basically bigger on a bigger screen um and then at the top corner over there we have the profile settings so this is where we can set the seats according to each person and the mirrors as well um so now when we do the quick controls so this is basically um where we can set the exterior lights the mirror settings the steering wheel settings the window lock child lock and the display brightness so all of this is just um quick controls that we can just do with this car so it's really easy to handle um, and then we have the lights so that's basically just where we can access all the light settings and the car and then there's the locks um and then we have the display so this is kind of where we can just set the display of the screen so day or night 
um, or we can just set it to auto. It just depends on how you guys want that. So it's very optional. Um, and then you can also adjust how bright or how dim you want it. So we kind of just keep it right in the middle because it just, it looks good that way. <laughs> and then we have driving, autopilot, navigation, safety, and security, um, service, and software. So those are kind of the main settings or the quick controls of the Tesla Model 3, right? So it's really easy, but you just kind of have to get used to it. So yeah. So now let's talk about the autopilot of the Tesla. So this is kind of what Tesla is known for. It's autopilot. Um, it's a very famous option too. A lot of cars have it. So basically what the autopilot is, is that you would just put in any destination you want and it'll just take you there. It's very simple. It's very easy. Um, so what this is, so it has a speed limit where you can set. So you can, you know, set the car to how fast or how slow you want it to go on certain roads. Um, and then, yeah, so you can just display it however you want. You just put it on auto. So it just kind of does it for you. You don't have to do the work. Um, and yeah, so it'll just kind of, it'll go by all rules and all laws of roads. So like signal stop signs, it'll wait for pedestrian as well. So it's a very useful thing. Um, and it's very cool at the same time. So this is a very good option. And we have, of course, the entertainments. So that is just where you can watch YouTube, Netflix, Twitch, and you can also download other entertainments as well. The other entertainments on here is the um, games. So this is kind of what all kids love, is the games, basically. So there's a lot of other different games on here as well, but these are kind of the main ones that Tesla already has in built. So there's like racing games, soccer games, um, you know, like different fighting games on here. So this is a very cool thing. So we'll kind of show you how to do it. So we'll show you how to play the Beach Buggy Racing 2 game. So it's like one of the famous games on here that a lot of kids love to play. So this is just a car racing game. So like a game that you would play on the phone, except you're playing this on the screen in a car. Um, so you can play with two players or just by yourself. And then the other player would kind of just be the computer opponent. So you, we're just going to show you a two-player demo. Um, so you would select your character. So um, I just picked my character and Nehal picked his character. And um, then once you're ready, you would just continue. Um, and then after that, you can just select your mode. So we're doing the chill performance mode. And then what you would do is you would just, just play. This is also a very good time pass if you're just sitting in the car and you have no idea what to do. And also what you can do is if you click the brake, the car will stop. And then yeah, when you go, and the, see I'm still- Yeah, so like you said, you can just use the steering wheel as your playing tool. So if you go to the right, it'll the car's gonna go to the right and same thing with the left. And then you can also use the pedals as your brakes and your accelerator. So this is a really cool thing to do in the car. All right, so now let's take a look at the interior storage of the car. So first we have this little storage over here. So you can just like push that open and you can store any essential things in there. So like masks, sanitizers, and all those sort of stuff. Just push it and close that. Then we have two cup holders, like all cars. So there's two cup holders. And then there's two um, wireless phone chargers. So you can just place your phone there and the charge will just go right into your phone. It's magical. <laughs> and then we have another storage over here. So it's just like, you know, if you want to store anything else, they just put that in there. It has a lot of space in there as well too. Um, and then we have the glove box. So you can just open the glove box on the screen. So when you press that option, the glove box will open. And then you can also put some important stuff in there as well. Now coming to the seating. So the color of the seat is obviously white, as you guys can see. Um, so it's made out of leather. So the whole seating is leather. Um, yeah, so the interior is like black and white because the doors, the interior doors is black and the seats are white. So it makes a really good color combo. So yeah, that's kind of why we chose white. It looked really pretty and um, the white seats are always a plus point in all cars. At the same time, it can also get dirty, but the good thing is that whatever you spill on this, it'll wash off right away. So it's easy to wash anything that spills on this. So another cool thing in here is that you can fold the seats. So the back seats you can fold fully so that it's like just flat at the back. So you have the two seats in the front and then it's just flat all the way till the trunk. So there's a lot of storage. So if you're traveling and you have lots of stuff to put, you can just like store it over here. So yeah, there's a very big storage in this car. <laughs> So now let's talk about the Tesla application. So you can just download this on your phone and you have a bunch of controls here. So if we go to the first one, which is the controls of the car, you can do, um, you can open the car, you can open the charging place, um, the flash, you can do all of those. Um, and then if you go back, you have the climate. So this is where you can set how warm you want it in the car or specific spots in the car, so the seats. 
Um, and then we have location, and then we have uh, schedule. So this is where you can um, heat your car ahead of time. So if it's like really cold, you can set a time where you want the car to heat, and then it'll just be nice and warm. So basically, you can just drive the car with the phone in your hand. You don't even need the key card. So it's a really cool thing to always have the application. Okay, so now we have the charging for the Tesla. So uh, you can actually fit these charges at your home. So you don't even have to go outside and charge it every time it runs out of charge. So there we have the outlet. So and then we have the cable. So you can just plug that right in your garage if you wanted to. Um, you can fit it in there. So in order to open the charging slot for the Tesla, you just have to click on the white part of the plug and then just insert it in. And once the T turns green, that means the car is charging. So once you have charged it, so once it is charging, um, you can always come back into the car and check what it is at. So right now it tells you that there is two hours and 35 minutes remaining. And then it tells you what the current charge is also at. So this is the adapter that Tesla would give along with the car so we can install this at home. But if we charge with this, it'll take around 20 hours to charge and that's a long time. So instead, we can purchase an adapter from Tesla's online store. So it's the one that you see right now. And it's only $50 and the adapter is 240 volts. So it's going to charge a lot faster. It'll only take around four to five hours to fully charge. So this thing that you see over here is the connection for the charger. So it's a really long gray tube that goes around your garage just to the top and the other way to all the way to the outlet. So this is what the outlet would look like. So this is where you would, um, you would plug the adapter into. that's it for today's video hope you all enjoyed it make sure to like share and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you all next week